Hey, I'm back. Sorry, I haven't been posting like crazy recently, but uh, I got COVID. I still have it actually. And um, so I was just on my ass for three days. Couldn't do anything. Um, sucked. So, and I'm and I'm fully back. So I can't imagine how bad it would have been if I wasn't. So get, get vaccinated. Speaking of things that shouldn't be controversial to say, um, what has Facebook been up to? You know, besides radicalizing people and feeding us extremist bullshit all the time so that we stay on the site for longer, what else is going on on there? That part of Facebook is still very alive and well, but you might be surprised to learn that the uh, stupid, obviously staged garbage viral trash that gets 800 million views side of Facebook is also still alive and thriving. Most of us at this point have moved on to TikTok for that content, but I guess our elders are still losing it over like stupid prank videos. This was posted by Julius Dean, by the way, who is a magician that has 39 million followers on Facebook. That's the population of California. This video here has 153 million views. I'm sorry, is is nobody gonna even glance over here? Could she be more obvious right now? Like, how good is this conversation that they're completely oblivious to the fact that she's doing major prank pre-production over here in the middle of the, li of the living room? This conversation has to be enthralling. Yo, so what's your favorite The Baby song? Oh man, I like Bop, honestly, but they're all so different. Anyways, eventually she brings the camera over they're still not looking at her because they're still talking about the baby or something like that. And then he freaks out and, but guess what? Oh, she's got a dress on underneath. <laughs> dress on. Duh. How about this one? This is a video where a guy dresses up like the seat of a car in order to get a girl to sit on his lap for the whole car ride and not tell her. <laughs> Normally I would expect this to be like a sit down, ah, wow, fuck. But he just doesn't say anything for the whole car ride. <laughs> just sitting on his lap the whole time. A little weird, a little bit of a weird prank if I'm being honest, but it's got 184 million views. Oh, wow, you're looking good. <laughs> like a car seat, there we go. Okay, yeah, you're looking good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Perfect, yeah, yeah, we go. Jump back. <laughs> So as I said, uh, spends another two minutes just bumping around on this guy's crotch. <laughs> and then finally... <laughs> Who actually watches and enjoys these videos? Who? If I sat on something hard, I'd know. By the way, in this comment, he is talking about a, uh, a penis of a man particularly the man uh, hidden in the chair costume. He's saying, David was, David saying that if I sat on like a boner, then I'd notice that someone was dressed up as a chair uh, because that's the guy who, who is the owner of the boner, the boner owner. And uh, so he'd say, he's he'd basically saying like, he'd know if he sat down and felt something weird, like a hard boner, that the owner of the boner would be hidden in the chair, so. That's that joke. I'm gonna take a second right now to thank the sponsor of this episode, which is Honey. <laughs> I feel like it's a good transition point, isn't it? Boner owner. Guys, this video today is sponsored by Honey. What is Honey? Well, it's the number one shopping tool in America. If you're shopping online and uh, you're at the checkout phase and you're using Honey, it'll automatically scour the internet for all the available promo codes. And if it finds one, it'll just automatically apply it and then you'll watch the price drop. Simple as that. I use it every single time I buy anything online and that includes all my gear here at my desk and it saved me a ton of money. And it's not like obscure stuff either, it works on the stuff you're already buying on the sites that you're already shopping on. And over everything, it's fun. It's just straight up fun. It's fun to save money, is it not? You look me in the eye and tell me it's not fun to save money. Do it. Do it. You can't, can you? Didn't think so. It's free and it couldn't be easier to, to add to your browser. All you gotta do is go to joinhoney.com slash Cody. All right, back to the video. I was reading an article recently about Rick Lax. 
Do you remember Rick Lax? He was the guy that would do Facebook videos like 10 years ago. He'd get you to like think of a number and then he'd guess the number, but like the equation that he used always ended up in you choosing five, basically. But the video would get like 100 million views. Drew did a great video on him way back in the day. So go watch that if you haven't seen it already. But now I guess he runs um, like a Facebook video network slash production company where the entire goal is for him and his friends to make these same style of videos and just get as many views as they can. And one of the things he says in the video is that they're constantly trying to find new formats that make people watch from beginning to end, like straight through. Like they want the maximum amount of watch time possible because that maximizes the amount of money that they make. And it works the same way on YouTube. But that's why in these videos, when you're watching them, there's this constant feeling of like, all right, what what's gonna happen for five minutes straight, you know? Like in your mind, you're like, this is so stupid and so fake, but there's, for some reason, I still wanna see the end of it. And they're like weirdly creative with coming up with these formats. For example, you've probably seen some like fucked up recipes on your timeline recently, like in the, la in the last six months. Like, like this one of this girl making SpaghettiO pie. She calls it a fast family recipe. And the video is called Easiest Dinner Hack Ever. Fastest family recipe for dinner. That all this. SpaghettiOs, cheese, milk, and bread, and then she puts it in the oven. What the fuck is that? It looks so good. Oh my gosh. That looks like fucking trash. That looks like hell. That looks like a prison meal or something. So that's them. That's one of their formats. And every time you see some fucked up recipe that you're like, this definitely does not work, that's them. And it's not. It's not a real recipe. They just pull shit out of their ass. They make a video about it so that you're sitting there like the whole time being like, this cannot possibly turn out, right? Right? It won't. It won't turn out. But you sit through the whole thing. You're like, Skittles and a grilled cheese? That can't. Can it? Now I'm just picturing some guy like inviting some girl over for a date so he can cook for her and he cooks her one of these stupid recipes because he doesn't know what he's doing and he sees it got a hundred million views on Facebook so he's like, all right, all right, I'm gonna cook this, this bitch some chocolate covered meatballs. She's gonna love it. I'm getting late for sure. So yeah, I don't know if Julius is part of the whole Rick Lax thing, but basically I'm saying everyone on Facebook that makes Facebook videos like this, it's the same goal. They just make that it doesn't matter what the content is at all, does not matter in the slightest. The only goal is get people to watch from zero to four minutes straight. That's the goal. So anyways, one of the worst formats of this that I've seen is Julius. They post these videos that are supposed to be from CCTV security camera footage. <laughs> okay, let's, let's watch this one together. It's called, The Ending Was Shocking. All right, what, what's going on here, okay? We're 37 seconds in, I, I get it. Someone's under the covers doing something. They're probably smashing, right? Are they on Love Island? What, is this a reality show? What's going on? Are they supposed to be at a hotel? That's what I'm guessing, right? Two queen beds beside each other. That's a pretty standard hotel format. What kind of hotel has a CCTV camera looking at the beds? It's kind of an invasion of privacy, isn't it? I would sue the fuck out of that hotel, straight up. I would straight up sue you guys, okay? My dad's a lawyer. Dude, they're obviously fucking, just leave them alone, all right? Put some earplugs in and just ignore it, all right? You fucking nerd, stop cock blocking. Look, I'm not joking, nothing happens in this video for three minutes. It's just nothing happens, it's just arrows and captions. Three minutes, oh, he pulls the thing off. Let's see what happens. Oh! <sighs> they were choking. 
So she was giving him CPR or like Heimlich or whatever the fuck under the covers. Hundred and ninety nine million views, by the way. How brain dead do you have to be? I have brain fog right now from COVID, and I still think this is stupid. Three minutes. Three minutes of nothing. It's just disrespectful. Like you're just purposely wasting people's time. It's just straight up disrespectful. Time is money, dude. Don't you know that? You do. You do. That's literally why you're doing this. So Touche, my friend. This did nothing for my life. I hate it. It's got 199 million views. Let's figure out how much money that is, or let's try to figure it out. So here's a, here's a video where another dude who makes Facebook videos uh, breaks down how much he gets paid. So this was a video of a wild dog pouncing on a biker, going down a road and then gets bit by a dog. Okay, right? still has uh, 12. People watch 1200 people are still currently watching this right now. Wow, it's got 10 million views. This video, it's not even his video, by the way. He just licenses other videos and then reposts them. It's god, it sucks. It happens earnings 8500 8500 bucks for 10 million views. So this has 200 million views. So that's you know, we could just start at multiplying 8,500 by 20. So a crude estimation based off that is $170,000, but then, you know, at 200 million views, it's like, there's people rewatching, they probably don't do ads every view or whatever. So let's just, let's be modest and divide that by four. That's still $42,000. And that's probably a low estimate of what he made on that video. For, for that, that boils my blood. <laughs> there are full on, festival grade indie films being produced right now with an incredibly talented crew of people who probably could only hope to make $20,000 because that's how much they spent making the fucking movie. And this dude filmed his friend under a blanket for four minutes and he's gonna make triple that. Social media is a bad invention. <laughs> I'm also laughing at all the people in the comments who've cracked the code on this video. Lie to children, not adults. How do you still cover yourself with duvets while attending to a first aid to your friend? He needs air circulation. Duh. Also, you could just wake the other friends to help too. <laughs> Otherwise, this video completely lacks a content. And I agree, it does lack a content. It's not even a content. You couldn't make this video and look at it and say, I am confident that this is a content. It's not even a content. And listen, I know this comment is essentially what I just said to you before, <laughs> but let's laugh at this guy and not at me. All right, let's watch some more CCTV footage. He does a lot of these. Again, what creepy ass hotel are you guys staying at? What is this? I think you get the point. <laughs> I hate this. Again, four minutes of just yellow captions describing things that are happening. They are being risky. Her boyfriend is about to wake up. What the fuck's gonna happen? All these videos are so much nothing, I literally can't believe it. Like these people must feel like they hit the lottery with this format. Nothing happens and they're making thousands of dollars and they're not doing anything. They're editing yellow circles onto a video where nothing happens. I'm so mad. Why am I so heated about this? <laughs> um, This is normal activity nowadays. Probably had a foursome later. <laughs> nah, Ricky, you're on the wrong website if you wanna see that. I love that Ricky watched that video and somehow had a kids these days thought, you know? How do you watch that and think anything? How do you watch that and think a single thought? Nothing happens. Instead he watched that and was like, ah, fucking kids. They probably had a Satan orgy later that night. Where's that footage? <laughs> well, wherever it is, you should delete it and burn it. I don't wanna see it. Disgusting. 
All right, let's watch this last one. I don't want to, but... Smartest thief in the world. Oh, that's actually, that's actually kind of clever, honestly. It's kind of clever, to be honest. All right, Julius. You got me. Uh, no, but anyways, this is four more minutes, right? This, this video could be nine seconds. It could be that. And then I'll be like, oh, oh, it's a pregnant stomach. That's kind of cool. Like, that would actually work probably in real life. Because it's like nobody can, like, you know, check you out. They're not like, be like, hey, ma'am, can I feel your stomach? Like, no. You know? So that would actually kind of work. It's clever. But, you know, they got to fucking... She steals, like, 40 jewels from this store right in front of the camera. The CCTV. And then this is the biggest slap in the face right here. Look at this. So the cops come... They're trying to figure out what's happening in all these watches, right? They start to figure it out, so she runs. I mean, I can't believe it, they actually, look at this. Were they not just running right behind her? Did she just hide in front of a glass wall? That's a slap in the face. How dare you? How dare you pass this off as content? This is an insult to everyone that makes videos. How many views does this have? 593 million. That's half of my entire channel. That's like seven years of making videos and this one video has half the views of my entire channel. Okay. Well, I quit. So. I quit. Bye.